All right, bomber brick time. We haven't really seen anything done to this car yet, but if you guys aren't in the know, this is Brock's 760 Turbo. It's locked. But since the last time we saw it, you got new tires. And what we're about to do right now is go get uh, some R12 to R134A adapters, and we're going to run the same easy chill stuff I did in the Miata. I'll talk about why it's okay to not vent the AC, or you can go watch a way fatter me explain it in the top right corner. Shit! Hey, we just left there. All right, we got this, and then I had a 10 off 20 coupon, so I bought five quarts of full synthetic 10W30 for the Integra for like 11 bucks or something like that. So when I get the Integra back, uh, I'll explain where that car's been, by the way, because you haven't seen it really. You haven't seen a video really you know I've been uh, I've been working my life away okay just let me let me do my thing do that in CB7 parked under that trailer oh, yeah. um yeah so we're gonna go charge this AC Integra's coming back soon and then I have bad news if you were excited about that car because uh All right, what we should have done was go to Harbor Freight and get like one of those like laser thermometers. It's like $7, but we didn't think about that. So what we'll be using, yes, yeah, I'm wearing my Jimmy John's hat, get over it, is this meat thermometer, which uh, the lowest it goes is 130. So we should be able to be lower than that at least. But uh, just to make sure it works, I'm just gonna give her a squeeze. You can see it going up just a little bit there. For reference, that's, you know, like 98-ish degrees, I guess. So it works, and then uh, maybe maybe we can take this over and I'll buy one of those things, because I kind of want one anyway, just to see how hot everything is all the time. It's actually radiating heat as you get close to it. Let's see, actually. See how hot it is in the old Volvo. All right, let's talk about charging an R12 system with R134A for a second here. You are supposed to vacuum the system clean of R12 before putting R134A in. R134A will work in an R12 system and compressor. Ideally, you would drain it. And that's because the oil used in R12 versus the oil used in R134A, typically, PAG oil, do not get along, tend to foam up your system and make your compressor very unhappy and full of foam it doesn't want. However, there is an oil that's neutral to both R12 and R134A, and it's called Ester Oil. And the company that makes the charges that we are using, and the, it's called an Easy Chill Retrofit Kit, it's the same one I used on the Miata, is an R134A charge with Ester Oil, meaning if this AC system's going to work, it should work with this R134A in it, and also meaning we can mix it with the remainder of the R12 that's in there, if there is any. Hopefully we don't have any leaks, we can just charge it up and uh, she'll go. So Volvo, conveniently, the uh, filler valve is right there. Hold that cap. So we're just going to pop this on. Let's see if that's gonna, there we go. Tighten her up, closes it off. And uh, just like with the Miata, we're not gonna put the low side valve on because uh, it just really doesn't matter. We will put the R134A conversion sticker on. How about that? If that'll make you happy. So what you need to do now is you need to start it and we need to turn the AC on full blast. Turn the AC. All right, full blast. Oh my God, turn this down. Oh, yeah. Put it on these vents. You can hear it trying. So that's honestly probably pushing 80 to 90 degree air right now. So what we're gonna do is uh, go grab that can and start filling. It's still going up. It's gonna keep doing that if it stays on. This is exactly what the Miata was doing. It was kicking on and off. And uh, one of Ross's Volvos did this too. So, I assume putting enough pressure in it with R134A is going to make it stay on, so we'll yeah. give her a shot. Uh, yeah, see if it kicks on. 
Yeah, so it's getting in a range where it's okay for it to turn on, but I think it's so low that as soon as it turns on, it freaks out. Yeah, that's what the guy was talking about when it was pressure fluctuating. I don't know if there's any in this can, but we can try it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would It was. A lot of people ask why they don't get things done on this channel, and it's because every time I touch anything, this kind of shit happens. Thread stripped, so it just blew off the ester oil charge so they don't just sell it everywhere. I don't know if O'Reilly's gonna have it. This $6 adventure just turned into a $50 one, like everything I do, always. All right, we're gonna go see if O'Reilly has the right charge. For reference, it's, you know, about 100 degrees in this car right now. Jiggle the keys. All right, six, right now, blowing a nice cool, I don't know, probably 90-ish degrees. Which, I mean, is cooler than it is in the car, so I guess there's some victory there. All right. Self-sealing cans, what an idea. The good news is R134A is only a category 1B carcinogen, meaning it's not known specifically to cause cancer in humans, just animals. Oh, that's All right, That's progress. Take it, put it in hot water, get it up to like hot. Now we put it in. I don't know why you wouldn't believe that the AC is working, but it is, I promise. We're gonna leave the gauge plugged in, let it run for a little bit with the AC on, make sure it's not leaking anywhere. Let's see if we can get a nice uh, beef wellington. Yeah. Look at her drop. That's good, actually. Yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, so I put the old gauge with the stripped out threads back on so we can monitor it. Right now it's at about 40 PSI. So I guess we'll go for a drive. All right, so we're driving to Harbor Freight to go look at the thermometer and now uh, it's just not blowing out these vents. It's like staying on our feet. Don't know why. So the car randomly um, kicked it back up to the fence and then I accelerated and it went back to feet and then when I stopped it went back to the vent and if that doesn't perfectly sum up owning a Volvo <laughs> I don't know what does yeah it fades out there it goes interesting I wonder if it's like not enough pressure it's trying to be efficient with the AC it's like you're moving, there's air moving, it's cooling you off. Yeah, it Slow the, the hell down and I'll turn the AC on. Why, Volvo? Why? Alright, we're pretty well convinced now that it's the automatic climate control being stuck on automatic. And it's basically just like, yeah, I mean, primarily, obviously, you want your feet to be cold. 
so I'll give you a little zest in the face here and there, but otherwise uh, you're going to have cold feet and you're going to shut the fuck up and enjoy it. Yeah. So uh, we're going to run into Harbor Freight, my home away from home. I'm going to get a thermometer. All right, so we got a running sill. We went to Harbor Freight and back. We did go down a tad. Maybe about 2 PSI. All right, so the issue we're running into here is that, like I said, it's just kind of up and deciding when it wants to switch, so it might do it, but if nothing else, these vents you can hear are blowing right now. So, all right, I bought this infrared thermometer, which doesn't have a laser pointer on it. The laser pointer was an extra $9, so I decided it wasn't worth the extra nine bucks for you guys to see exactly what I'm pointing at. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a five second average on the dash. So one, two, three, four, five. And it's currently set to read the lowest temperature it senses for as long as you hold the button. So come on. 91.2 degrees. Now we're gonna come over to this vent that's blowing and hold it for five seconds. Fifty-eight flat, some cold AC. So now, I mean, that's not that's not bad for a what, thirty-year-old car, thirty-one-year-old car, yeah, with the bunk-ass retrofit to R134A. So, fifty-eight is good. We will accept that. We should see what the Fiesta does. In comparison. So interestingly enough, in the Fiesta, the lowest setting is one notch below sixty. So you might actually be blowing colder air than me. It's just the Fiesta does it so vigorously. Let's see what we got. Dash has been sitting in the sun, probably really hot. 133.8 Woo! And use this one. Obviously we're technically measuring the temperature of like the component inside the vent, not the air. 39. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. That's cold. Alright, well. Interesting. I guess that sums that up. Just because I want to see how this Walmart battery is faring, I bet you it'll still start, like, almost immediately. God, it smells like big old crayon in this bitch. Oh my god, I don't miss this. Holy poop. It's so loud! Well guys, the 760 now has working air conditioning. We just don't get to control where it blows, but at least we control when and it's cold. We'll figure it out from there. I'm just glad there was R134A in that can and not R12 because now, I mean, the state of California is after me for sure. But if that was R12, the entire country would be after me. So thanks Easy Chill for not using cell sealing cans and letting that opportunity exist. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I wish you guys had seen me slip and eat shit because like I was super pissed about it at the time, but now I'm just upset there's no footage of it because the ester oil in that can I stepped on it and I went down so fast. My life's basically a cartoon at this point. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Add me on Snapchat at BigB1011. Follow Brock on Instagram at BomberBrick. Submit a picture of your car to be featured at the end of the video to help at gmail.com. Someone talk about these Christmas lights still being up because I know it'll happen. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.